Hey, I'm Yama Indra, I'm a trainer here at Live School and I release music as gloves. So Ableton Live 9.2 dropped today, that's the new beta version and it's got some great new features. We're really excited about one in particular which is the tuner device. Let's check out how it works and put it through its paces. So in a studio environment, before you go recording anything with a hardware, organic or acoustic instrument, you definitely need to tune it first. So here I've got Ableton Live 9.2, the new beta version, fired up. And you can see under audio effects, there's a new device, the tuner. Let's drag that in. In the default mode here, which is called the classic mode, it looks like a pretty standard guitar tuner. As soon as you pluck a string, you get this visual here. And it's basically like this curved line where if the circle's coming up on this side, you're sharp. If the circle's coming up on this side, you're flat. You can see the note you're closest to down here. At the moment, we're closest to an E flat. So we need to come up a whole semitone to the E. Now pretty close to the E. You've got the sense read out here that's telling you in fine tuning whether you're above or below. But you can also just do it visually trying to get these two circles to line up in the middle perfectly there. You can change the sense reading to hertz reading as well. If you click down here, it'll show you in hertz instead of sends. The visual doesn't change though. Let's do that second string with a different mode. So I'm still in the classic mode, but if I change it from target, I can go into the strobe mode. Strobe mode is also seen on a lot of classic guitar tuning pedals and you basically get this line starting to move. If it moves clockwise, you're a little sharp. If it moves anti-clockwise, you're flat. The faster this line moves, the further out of tune you are. So what you want to aim for is to get that line in the background not moving at all. When it stays stationary, you know you're really in tune. So there's one other mode in this new tuner. It's this mode here. This is called the histogram mode. When you pluck a string, it comes up as this horizontal line. Again, you can see the whole thing visually. I mean, you've got the sense read out, but you can do it by color. The more in tune you are, the stronger the green color will be, and the more this horizontal line will line up with the dotted gray line in the background. So you can see that's really tight on a D now. If we go to our next string, you can see we're getting red, which means we're really out of tune. So we need to come up to the G, and as we get closer and closer, we get a green color, and every shade in between green and red basically along the way. So that works pretty sweet on guitar. Let's try a hardware synth. Here I've got an original Moog, Mini Moog. These things notoriously go out of tune really easily and you need to tune them before every take, usually on a recording. There's an inbuilt tuning mechanism though. You've got an A440 test tone, which I can switch on here. And now coming up in Ableton Live, you can see that test tone is two cents flat. I reckon if we left the synth on for another hour, it'd probably warm up to exactly A440. Anyway, let's tune the synth using Ableton's tuner instead. I've got a raw square wave coming through, and if I hit an A, you can see in Ableton that's a long way off at the moment. We've got a fine tune control here on the Mini Moog, so this should correspond to an A note. Currently it's coming in as a G note, so I need to tune it sharper, should tune it further up. Here we go, A flat, and even further, all the way up to an A, almost there. Okay, and you can see that's probably about as close as I'm going to get it. You'll notice it's kind of moving back and forth a little bit. That's just the natural pitch drift of an analog synth like this, something made back in the 70s. So the Moog's in tune according to Ableton Live's tuner device, but let's check it against its internal tuning mechanism. If I turn the test tone on here, and then play an A note, it should sound exactly in tune with each other. Sounds perfect. All right, so make sure to get your hands on the 9.2 beta version of Ableton Live, and you can find the link in the description under this video. There's some other great features in there as well, some new stuff for push, there's some improvements to the warping algorithms, lots of other stuff. Thanks Ableton for the updates, and the tuners really made our day here.